One, two, three. Clean sweep. Me not think so. Not just yet. We still have the semi-final for Gotro. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views, and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial, and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Yeah. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. Tigat, Adrian and I are here to talk about the just concluded eats of the women's 200 meters at this year's World Athletics Championship over there in Oregon. And I'm going to go straight into it. The three Jamaicans entered the 200 meters and the three of them has advanced to the semifinals. And if we are to take a look at eat number one, Adrian had Sherika Jackson, our representative, and she won with ease, crossing the line at 22.33 to advance. Talk to me about Sherika's um, performance. Yeah, thanks, Kurt. Um, um, viewers, Sherika Jackson um, came. She did what was expected of her. She's the world leader in the um, 200 meters and the um, second fastest woman alive over the event. Um, she looked comfortable, she looked smooth, she looked easy, was not challenged and was not gonna make a mistake as she did in the Olympic games. She's just coming off the back of placing second in the 100 meters and she has promised something special for the 200 meters. So she looked good and it was a good look for her advancing. Tiga, tell me how you feel about the way Sharika performed. Yes, um, she did what she had to do. You know, smooth. You understand? Take it home nice and easy. You understand? As uh, as um, Adrian said, just coming off a, um, a, a, a silver medal in 100 meters. So she's well confident now. You understand? All the glitter's gone. You know, all the nerves gone. Now it's time to perform. So 200, she's saying 200, here I come. And of course, the first three from each eat advanced. So Gabriel, Gabriela Suarez from Ecuador also advanced. Delia from Italy advanced. Jessica Bianca from Germany advanced. And the Nigerian Rosemary advanced as one of the fastest losers, as well as the Bahrainian athlete Odingon. Adrian, in eat number two, we had the Fastest woman alive over 200 meters, the dubbed triple Olympic champion, Elaine Thompson era, running out of lane at number eight. I'm wondering how she got in lane number eight, but she finished second, closed, um, easing down at the line, 22-41. To, she lost to Beatrice Masalingi, season's best, 22-27. Yeah, Kurt, um... Elaine Thompson era out in lane eight was a strange look. I don't believe I've ever seen her run out of lane eight. Um, not getting a full view of those who are behind her. She went out, um, not pressuring herself, obviously, just coming off her third place and um, run in the 100 meters, wanting to conserve an energy, wanting to just ensure that she qualified. And um, she went out and did the business from early out. However, we could see that um, Masilingi wanted to prove a point. She ran her season's best. And we saw that as Elaine um, slowed down, that she kept on accelerating and pouring her way to the finish line. And if um, one to watch, one to watch. Tiga, <laughs> you, you, you think we're threatened by Masalingi's performance. Is... And we notice, we notice that when everybody else is decelerating, she's accelerating. That is normally how she runs. Uh, you think we should be worried about her going into the, the next round? Obviously, Marcelinda think it was the final and she was good <laughs> for the gold medal. <laughs> so she, she powered her way, thinking that she's going to get the gold. But our coaches got to tell them, say, hey, what did you do? You understand? Everybody was slowing down while you were keep, keep on going. No, that's not the final. 
because she's um, Elaine Thompson area is in there. So she said, yes, I'm in the final, but no, this is just to eat, Marcelenki. This is the only race that you're going to win. You qualify for the seventh final. I don't know if you're going to make it to the final, but guess what? Elaine Thompson did what she had to do, running from out of lane eight, you know, comfortable um, second, and she's qualified. Now she's going to make it to the final, one step at a time. And of course, the, the runner from Denmark, Car Soft, finished third and qualified 22.85. And Lloyd of Antigua squeezed in as one of the losers with 22.99 to make it into the semifinals. And in eat number three, Adrian, Shelly and Fraser Price coming out in her green wig this time, finishing a comfortable second, 22.26 advance to this runner bursting onto the scene Segni from Niger 2198 national record in winning accelerating as she crosses the line as well similar to Masilingi's um, running technique should we be worried about this runner as well well I'm um, trying to keep up Kurt with um the amount of change of um, airstyle that Shelly and Fraser is putting on in this um, championship. But um, I guess at this point in time, she's going pretty fast, and that's what we expect from her. However, having said that, she is at 22.26, and I think she just did enough to get through. But watch out again. Um, Sini from Niger. Yes, Niger, not Nigeria. Um, she also did very well and ran her a national record. As a matter of fact, um, I don't know if we should be worried, but she looks like she was stepping on the gas and could go fast. As a matter of fact, I think that's the fastest time. Headed into the semifinal, 21.98 seconds, and probably looked like she had some more left in the tank. So look out. Not worried just yet, but yeah, look out. Shelly and Fraser did what she had to do, Tiga, to make it through. Yes, she did what she did. I did a video um in the in the day and I was saying the sensational um senior from Nigeria, but somebody correct me and say it's not Nigeria and it's Niger, right? Um so, yeah. the day where there was that was none. <laughs> right. Yes, so. and, and, and and just to note, it's not only you are here um saying that is Nigeria, I hear the commentators and my okay. TV saying the same. Okay, so anyway, I was saying that she's a sensational. So I was watching out for her. I well, I was keeping a very close eye on Senya. You understand? My biggest shock was Talu. You understand? I I had um um Shelly and, and Talu, and the sensational um Senya. But guess what? Talu is nowhere to be found. It's Rosa from Brazil. You understand? Make it through as a the third place. But uh, I'm just watching this one. I'm watching this um, this 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 female. You understand with a close eye. But guess what? The question Chelian did what she had to do. She qualified, make it to the semifinal. That's all we need to do. That's all. That's that's what all that matters. I don't know what these trainers are telling these um, athletes. But Chelian is a veteran. She know what to do. We just need to qualify and just make it through the round. A good time. Twenty two point. Two eight, you understand? So guess what? We are in the semifinal, and next step is the final. Good go, Shelly. And Adrian, the 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 other the usual suspects are there. Tamara Clark winning eat number four, twenty two twenty seven. Dina Asha Smith, twenty two fifty six finishing second, and Geta. The Bahamian who was disqualified in the 100 meters is back. She qualified in, uh, in third in eat number five. Abby Steiner, 22 26. Kambunji, 22 34, also advanced. And in eat number six, Favor Ophili and Jenna Prandini, as well as Beecher from Australia, all advancing to the semi final. So the usual suspects are there. Yeah, yeah, Kurt, you just suspects are there. Um, most of those would have called. Um, I mean, obviously, Favor of Feely looked really, really good. The young um, Nigerian. And, um, you know, 
college athlete there coming up. She looked really, really good. Jenna Brandine, as usual, seems to always make it into the finals of these um, races. Uh, but um, the American, Abby Steiner, the new girl on the block, she also looked good in winning, um, edging out Kambunji. And um, you just look forward. Tamara Clark was also pretty impressive, although she worked hard. And, of course, the reigning champion, Dina Asha Smith, just doing enough, conserving her energy after placing fourth in that hot 100 meters final, coming back a day later to ensure that she also advances to the to the final. So not a lot of surprises except for uh, Talu, who um, um, did not start. I'm not so sure what happened there because uh, she looked really, really good in the 100 meters um, um, finals. Uh, and of course, um, it's interesting. We wait to see what will happen with um, a Masalingi and uh, um, a Saini to see where they will finish. But the usual suspects are true. The Jamaican cheer from the from the 100 meters, gold medal, is a, gold medal, bronze, bronze medal, silver medal, all true, clean sweep, whatever all they want to put it in, they are true, and we can look to see how they'll play out in the semifinals. Tiga, the semifinals the semi should be um, exciting. Yes, yes, it should. Fireworks, fireworks uh, for for the semi final, and we're we're just going to root for the Jamaicans again. Uh, hope they can make it to the final, and if they make it to the final, clean sweep. You know, bring out the broom, bring out the pot cover, bring out the bring out the, the pan, bring out everything. You understand? But semi final, here we come. Fans out there, this has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. All three Jamaicans have advanced to the semifinals in the women's 200 meters. And we are looking forward to another clean sweep. Nothing else but a clean sweep. So we would love to hear from you by you leaving your comments in the comment section below. What's your thoughts on the performance of the ladies heading into the semifinals? Leave all those comments in the section below and always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe so you can get all the exciting content that we have in store for you and remember to tell a friend 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 you hear much that tell all of them friends to come and join the sports dtm family this has been another episode of sports down the middle t got adrian and i signing out be blessed